Ali will always be a pioneer because of what he stood for, you know, in that era. Okay. Stood for. And I commend him for that. And I would have done this, done the same thing if I was in that era. He done what he's supposed to do in that era. Whereas, I think in that era still, we were more, we, we would stick together. We as we would stick together because you will see Muhammad Ali with Will Chamberlain. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, and, and you remember and, the summit that they had in 67 with yeah, Ali, with Ali, Ali was Will Chamberlain, uh, Jim Brown, uh, Kareem, it was, no, it was, it was Kareem, it was Kareem, Bill Russell. So previously, Floyd Mayweather said if he was in Muhammad Ali era, he would have had stood up for the exact same things Muhammad Ali stood up for. He would have had done the exact same thing Muhammad Ali did by standing up for his people the same exact way Muhammad Ali did against the double standards and racism back in the day. Floyd Mayweather said that because that's what made Muhammad Ali not just the greatest boxer of all time, but the greatest athlete of all time. A fighter who stood up for something bigger than himself and bigger than the sport itself. Since 99.99% .99 of the fighters that made it to that level, they would end up being an Uncle Tom instead of doing what Muhammad Ali did. That's what made Muhammad Ali so special. Well, apparently God is testing that statement by Floyd Mayweather. As he was asked the other day, about Ryan Garcia raised Ryan and his thoughts about it because he supports Ryan. He helped Ryan previously to beat Devin Haney, or I should say, cheat Devin Haney. Now, instead of Floyd Mayweather standing up for his people, just like Muhammad Ali did, after all, Ryan was talking about Floyd Mayweather's grandson when he was going on his racist rant. He was talking about Floyd and his entire family along with his entire community. The moment Floyd Mayweather had a chance to show us how he will stand up for his people like Muhammad Ali, instead, he ended up pleading the fifth, as if he was the one that said the crazy things Ryan said. Check it out. Ryan had a big 4th of July week himself. I don't know if you got a chance to see how his Twitter feed was going. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to get me involved in that. That's not my thing. I'm here to talk about Kamel. I'm here to stay positive. Talk about Kamel, what my fighters do. And, and about me helping my fighters. And me being positive. Talk about family. I'm here with the promotions. And that's what I'm here to talk about. Something negative. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Well, I don't understand or comprehend. Floyd Mayweather always brags about and pride himself on owning his masters being able to speak his mind and say whatever he wants to say because nobody owns him. Well, what's the point of all of that if when the time comes for Floyd Mayweather to show us how he will stand up for his people like Muhammad Ali by exercising his first amendment, which is the freedom of speech. Instead, Floyd Mayweather ended up exercising the wrong amendment, the fifth one, pleading guilty, or excuse me, pleading the fifth as if he was the one saying the crazy things Ryan said. Whatever happened to, I would have done the same things Muhammad Ali did if I was in his era. And this was absolutely nothing compared to that. Ali went up against the world. He went up against the entire agenda when it was a no-no to do so. However, this right here, this is like throwing rocks to the devil. People are only going to cheer you on for doing that. Instead, Floyd Mayweather doesn't even want to talk about it. He pleaded the fifth. I guess Floyd Mayweather should never compare himself to Muhammad Ali ever again. That was a good try, though. But God tested Floyd to see if he was going to stand on business or foe. At the end of the day, talk is cheap. Action speaks louder than words. I was highly disappointed with Floyd Mayweather's response. I mean, Floyd Mayweather was everywhere celebrating or talking about Ryan beating Devin. But then when Ryan tested positive for PEDs, Floyd didn't keep the same energy. And now when Ryan had his race rant about Floyd, his family, 
and his entire community, Floyd want to play the fifth. We got to do better than that. Can you imagine Martha Luther King pleading the fifth the way Floyd Mayweather did? We would have had gotten nowhere. Can you imagine if Muhammad Ali pleaded the fifth the way Floyd Mayweather did? Can you imagine if Malcolm X and everyone that stood up for a cause pleaded the fifth the way Floyd Mayweather did? We would have gotten nowhere. Floyd Mayweather just showed the world. Him as a leader, he's going to take us nowhere. The least thing Floyd Mayweather should have done is disassociate himself with Ryan Garcia completely. That's the smallest deed Floyd Mayweather could have done. With the opinions out of the door and the facts laid out on the table, go ahead and drop your thoughts on Floyd Mayweather pleading the fifth when it came to Ryan Garcia race rant. He's going to join the Triple K in order to bring Floyd back to life and kill him again. Subscribe below and to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm just tired that, you know, a lot of times people send me these stories about, you know, what the, the media write about. And, I mean, yeah, do, do racism go, go, do racism go on within the sport of boxing? Absolutely. 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 I say what I want to say. I always speak from the heart. Floyd, uh-uh.